The purpose of this video is a brief introduction to LockDowns, specifically the E3259BM, and how to make the appropriate cuts using the Shaper Origin with Shaper Plate. There will be the first two links in the description below. The objective is to make a fast, accurate, and secure joint with no screws or other hardware. I believe you're going to need three workspaces on the Shaper Origin. One to cut the actual two holes to insert the lock dowel, and then two files to cut, for lack of a better word, the mortises to slide uh, left to right and one to slide right to left. More specifically on how to build those will be later. The first thing to do is to mark the center of where you want the lock dowel to actually go. I like 50 millimeters as a nominal dimension from where you want the top of the board to finish. A minimum of 30, maybe 70 would be good, but I like 50 millimeters. After you've cut the two holes, you just slide the lock dial in place and tap it in. By the way, this is the bit that I use in order to create the two 5 millimeter, 21 millimeter deep holes. Uh, 32 millimeters apart to, to hold the lock dowel. Once you've marked where you want the center of the lock dowel to go, now you slide down the what Shaper calls the reticle and line that little arrow up, uh, make it square, but right to the 50 millimeter line and center of your piece. Make sure you do the Z-touch and get that reticle out of the way. You press the start button, it does the helix, it just keeps going down and down until it gets to the 21 millimeters and then retracts. After this, you just move it over and do the second hole. You're left with perfect two holes to hold your lock dial, you tap them in place. You do this over and over and over again until all your holes are cut. The other two workspaces you need on the Shaper Origin is to cut the mortises. One is, like I say, on the left side here, you'd end up going left to right, and on the right side, you'd go right to left. It's kind of like a box joint. You have to remember which end's the top. You'll end up with, uh, say, the left to right mortise looking something like this. And you'd end up with the right to left mortise looking something like this. You notice that this is 52 and a half millimeters that I noted rather than 50. That's because it's half the radius of the dowel, just to make sure everything lines up. And just like when you cut the holes to hold the dowel itself, you pull the radical down, you line it up with the 52.5 millimeter dot, you square it, you stow the radical, of course make sure you get the Z-touch done, and you do the cuts. And you would want this specific lock dial bit to make these cuts. You do the shortcut first, it's four and a half millimeters deep, then you have to make sure you select the second cut, set it at nine millimeters deep, and then go the other way. When it comes right down to it, that's all there is to it with the shaper. You just line it up to that reticle, stow it, and hit the cut button. Do it over and over again until all of the cuts are done. Next we go on to how to create the files. Okay, now we need to create the three workspaces. One beautiful thing about this is you only have to create them once. You can use them over and over again. And one way to do it is take your blank plate, copy it three times. And you do that by selecting the blank and then hit the duplicate. And then say rename one of them to something like that by pressing the rename button. And uh, I called it E3259 dowel, and then you rename another one, say 3952 left to right, 
then you rename another one from right to left. At some point you need to go to the Shaper Hub to their hardware section and download the SVG files. There's just two of them. Now we'll create the workstation to cut the two holes to actually hold the, the lock dial. Select the workstation that you named uh, DAO and then select the import button. Import the file that you downloaded from Shaper that's called post and then position it either manually or with or select position and say zero zero on the XY and then press place and you're done. Next we'll create the workstation that cuts the same mortise that goes left to right. You put the design button again, select the import button. Now you import the file that's uh, called revision A. Select zero zero again and hit the place button and that's done. And just to confirm it, you can see that the shortcut is actually left of the center line. Now we go back to the scan and the workspaces and select the one that goes from right to left. Again, we import the uh, revision A, but this time you have to press the rotate button and then press the 180 and then uh, again position it zero zero x y hit the place button and that one's done and just to confirm that that one's in the right place you see that that shortcut line is uh, to the right of the center line i'd suggest doing a couple of test cuts just you know, one to hold the hold the actual lock down, do one that's left to right, do one that's right to the left, but in the end you'll find that uh, it's nothing more than pull the reticle down, line it up, and go. Hopefully that's an adequate introduction to how to use the shaper origin and the shaper plate to make the workspaces and cut files to install lock dowels. Oh, when it's all said and done, you can get some nice solid joints that line up left to the top and, uh, and they're spot on parallel and snug. And by the way, there's no real point in liking or subscribing. Have a good day.